Today, I want to focus on those of you who work a nine to five career job, you have a full time position, and you're trying to build a business that can supplement your full time career or give you the ability to walk away from that career so you can go full time into your business, living your best life, and focusing on the purpose that you know you have because you're trying to build this business, right? So, just focusing on those people right for this video and it's all about how to avoid burnout in 2024 2024 is going to be a crazy year it's a lot going on we got elections we got different wars breaking around around the world we've got macroeconomics microeconomics you've got debt you've got credit you've got cash flow issues you got all these different things going on but yet you're staying optimistic if a good mindset you are watching youtube videos like this and, and others to improve yourself. So you're the right person that I'm talking to. You don't display those characteristics just yet. This video may not be for you. So with that being said, I wanna focus on like, how do we avoid burning out in 2024? I want you to really think about some things that will possibly change your paradigm. And I'm gonna use a real life example to really help you move forward in your life, right? So I'm going to assume you're someone that has a career. So it's an example of someone that has a career full-time position, that's your mainstream of income. And you've been trying to build a business on the side with whatever free time you have. Mix that in with family time, mix that in with prayer time, God time, mix that in with trying to you know, volunteer and help out different folks and combine that with trying to go to networking events or business workshops or conferences and then read content and read books and strategize and study and da -da and da -da, and you're still not making a whole lot of money. And then you gotta go back to this job that you don't hate, you don't love it. It's something that you're skillful and you're good at and it's talent you're being paid for, right? So here's some things to think about that maybe you really don't hear anyone on YouTube talking about is talk to your boss, talk to management, talk to the leadership team of where you work and inform them that you started a business, that you're looking to grow and provide massive value on this planet. Mastermind with the leaders in that company. There's nothing wrong with doing this. Do not be afraid that you're gonna get fired because you decided to start a business because you decided to improve your life. Like before you even bring it up to test the water, because let's say there's fear, test the water. Talk to your boss and talk to the management team. Talk to the CEO. Talk to the founder. And say, hey, I'm I'm not like other employees here. They're just looking for a paycheck, looking to go home, clock out right at 5 p.m., 6 p.m., right, and not willing to stay the extra minute. I want to let you know, boss, sir, ma'am, leadership team, I want to let you know that I want to become a leader. I want to let you know that I want to live my best life. How can you help me win? How can I help you win more? What are some things I can be doing in this company right now that could increase my income? I want to present a strategy to you that could potentially double my income in the next 24 months, the next 12, 18 months, right? You set the timeline, you present to your boss, say, hey, I'd like to have an hour of your time, 30 minutes of your time. I want to present some thoughts, some ideas that I have within this company that can take me to the next level. What could an extra $15,000 guaranteed into your salary a year, what could that do for you? What could an extra $30,000, $50,000 do for you if you're making $70,000 a year and you're paycheck to paycheck? And then you're trying to dedicate what little cash flow you do have and throw it over and give it, give it away into someone else's control and hope for a rate of return over a long period of time. I don't have anything against that. That's great. I just don't think that should be the first thing you do, right? What's what's more likely to happen? You get these high rates returns in the marketplace consistently forever with no losses and you've got to traverse this whole market? Or what if there was a clear pathway to communicating with your boss and leadership team on how you can take your $70,000 a year salary and go to 95,000 and go to 100,000 in the next 12 months, next, next 24 months? What kind of ROI is that? compared to you saving, investing $500 in a month into you know, dividends and stocks and index funds. Again, nothing wrong with it. I think it's great. I'm just wondering, like, could there be a more efficient, better way to get to where we're trying to? I'm just putting in thoughts, ideas that I don't think many YouTubers like myself are discussing, right? are talking about. Most of us are talking about how to quit your nine to five, start a business, become a YouTuber, get famous, become an influencer, make all this money and, and life gets better. Uh, the reality is you wanna become a content creator, you wanna become an influencer, you wanna 
do marketing and sales, man, you gotta be willing to receive a lot of no's. You gotta be willing to work more than what you're working right now. You need to be willing to think differently, have these paradigm shifts, invest in yourself when you don't have a whole lot of money, like consider going into massive amount of debt. That's what a lot of content creators have done. They go into a lot of debt to find the, the mentors and get the coaching that they need. I'm not saying to do that. Did I personally do a little bit of that? Yes. I'm not saying to do it, I'm saying many have, right? And it is an option, okay? And then you come to find out, you do make more money when you start that business, then you're nine to five, you quit your nine to five to start this business, and then all you did was just buy an expensive job, where now you're working 15 hours a day, 16 hours a day, 14 hours a day, no breaks, no sleep, less sleep, poor health, wife's upset, you don't spend time with the kids anymore, you don't show her attention, right? It gets a little weird, right? So. Could there be a better way? Does everyone have to be a boss babe out the gate? Does everyone have to be a, a super alpha male out the gate, right? Or is there a more efficient way to get there eventually and do it consistently, effectively over a long 20, 30, 40, 50 year period rather than just make a bunch of money in just one season all to just lose it later on because you can't sustain it because then you change your lifestyle and then so many other things come with that. So taking a look at the the board here, if you're in a career position right now, I would literally, if I was working a job today, I would get to know who my boss is. I wanna know who the leaders of my company, of the company that I'm working in is. What is their mindset? Is this a toxic environment or this is a productive environment? If this is a toxic environment, consider pivoting. Why stay in a toxic environment? Do market research, find somewhere where your talents will be more recognized and honored. Let's say you're in a good environment, but you just don't know the boss. All you know is your manager and then the employees that are on your level. Dude, let's find out who the dang CEO is. Who's the founder? Who's the VP? Who's the director? Can I take these guys out to lunch, breakfast, dinner? Can I meet the family? Can I get to know them? Can I tell them about my goals and intentions, how I want to take this company and massively expand it and grow it? Why not? And again, if you're in a toxic environment, I would consider pivoting and doing market research. We're living in a time today where you've got content creators on YouTube that have massive organizations, big thinking mindset. What if you did market research in the area that you have skills in and you found a guru or content creator that's also in that industry and you reached out to them and said, hey, I'm doing this right now as an employee. I see you run this whole organization. You got the YouTube, you got all this stuff. What would it look like? Well, what's the potential of me having a conversation with you, figure out how I can help you expand this. You seem to be, you know, growth minded, multiplication, 10x, you, you, you're, you're doing a lot of things here. How can I find a way to get into that organization, get into that team and help you expand, take it to the whole new level? This is me personally, right? This is how I think. I'm currently a solo entrepreneur. I've been doing that for the last five years from 2018, 2023, now going into 2024. And I've been building a financial consulting coaching practice where I help people master their personal finances, right? Become an authority over their household as it relates to their finances. Build the kingdom, right? These different things. And it comes with other financial strategies that I teach along the way. I've done market research in the industry that I'm in, and I have found other people that are doing what I'm doing at scale. And then I sit back and I ask myself, hmm, what would it look like if I worked for that person? Go from solopreneur back to a job. What if, what if I got hired and worked under a leader as a leader and combined not only would i make exponentially more than what i could do by myself they also win i win at the highest level and the clients more people are are impacted and transformed in their lives what could that look like for me so i began to ask the same questions that i'm presenting to you and i've done my homework and due diligence doing market research and i found certain players over the years that I've looked up to, consider coaching, considered mentorship, consider advice from them, recommendations. And I can give you a handful of, of examples here. So I can give you an example of Steve Parisi has a YouTube channel called IBC Global. He put out a private video, sent it to me, and he it was talking about a, a program that he's launching, right? I'm not gonna say what it is. He talked about me in the video and he showed how much revenue i made working with him and i saw i was like oh my god that's that's an incredible amount of money for a young person like myself coming from low income household not the right mindset not the right access you name it go the whole list so when i was raised in single mom household and you know dad went to prison and 
you know, had all these different things. And I'm just like, that's an incredible amount of money that I've been able to make over the last five years online with a, with another person that just believed in me more than most family members would, right? I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, this Steve Parisi guy, like, what if I just latched on to his vision? And because his vision is so big that my vision would get solved in the process, my, my income goals, my life goals would literally get solved because his vision is so huge. How much easier would it be for me to learn his systems, being with him, under him, and as a leader? So a leader being led by a leader, right? So I'm not a follower following a leader. I'm a leader being led by a leader. So it's two leaders, different stages, different vision. His vision recognizing his vision is much bigger than mine and not comparing myself to him and getting jealous or envious, but rather thinking, oh, how can I collaborate with this guy? He's looking for talented people. He's looking for other leaders. Either I can help him find other leaders or I can be the leader, right? And help him win, help his employees win and make relationships and continue to collaborate. What if I did that? What would that look like? Well, I can tell you it's resulted in multiple six figures of income per year the last couple of years without me having to do additional work, just using my mind and collaborating and leveraging people and resources and money, capital, cash flow, resource, experience, knowledge, wisdom. One example. Another example. Caleb, better wealth, the end asset, same age, his vision, huge, help 1 million people get life insurance, get insured, help 1 million people get insured. Working with Steve Parisi, I've probably helped maybe over 100 plus people get life insurance and I've made multiple six figures just from over 100 plus people get life insurance. This Caleb guy wants to help a million people get life insurance. What if I got 1% of that business of helping 1 million people? What if I got 1% of the business revenue there? Would that result in multiple seven figures? No doubt. What if I got 1% of Steve Parisi over here, IBC Global? His vision, take the company to $100 million valuation with 100 employees. Caleb, boom. Next, the Kwok brothers. Recently made a relationship with them. Partnership up. Partnership up with them. Fantastic guys. A couple years older than me. They're in their 30s. Freaking awesome. They're operating at a high level. Sam and Daniel Kwok. Awesome guys. They've blessed me with wisdom, attention, time, resources, dedication, their whole team, their whole staff, Joel, Patrick, Caitlin, and others that I've met so far. Fantastic work that they do. They teach the velocity banking concept. They call it the accelerated banking concept. That's their brand, accelerated banking, velocity banking. These are marketing terms, right? So accelerated banking concept, and they do real estate. I wanna know about real estate, and I wanna learn real estate, and uh, and I love accelerated banking, and I, I, you know, I've been teaching this for a while, but they seem to be doing this at a much higher level, at scale, helping thousands of people, or I'm still helping hundreds. They're at thousands, maybe even tens of thousands, and they want to go to maybe hundreds of thousands. So we got three big visions here. Imagine me getting connected to each of these different visions in different industries. You got real estate, personal finance, life insurance, taxes, legacy, estate planning. These are all things that my clients and my audience is going to need at some point. Imagine if I created funnels, traffic funnels, content. My, what are my skills? I can create content. I can talk. I can articulate. I can communicate. I can speak. I can deliver a message that people will receive and take action on. What if I did those things for those three people? These three guys all have billion dollar, hundred million, minimum, minimum hundred million dollar ideas. My ideas only, only max out at about 20, 25 million, right? Like my max ideas, my capacity to think that big is just not there yet. But if I hang out with these guys enough, in time, my capacity to think big will grow. It'll multiply, not just grow, it'll multiply. So until then, I can latch on to their visions. My vision gets solved in the process, not only faster, but more efficiently, more productively, and I don't burn out in the process. So I want you to consider how can you leverage other people instead of just leveraging yourself, instead of listening to mom and dad's advice of do it yourself. Just do it yourself, someone else is gonna mess it up. It's like, whoa, whoa that's, that's, that's a... It's a toxic idea. Think, wait a minute, how can I transfer my wisdom and knowledge and experience into someone else's brain? Then they do the work and then I get a piece of that production because I helped them. And now they're gonna help me in return. And that's all I'm thinking about. So I got Steve Parisi, I got Caleb, I got the Quack Brothers, these three people. This, this is my personal example. This is what's gonna take me from making multiple six figures to multiple, multiple seven and eight figures over the next 10, 20 years. Game over, right? 
So think about that as you're working in your nine to five. Now, the type of business that you decide to start, hopefully it complements your career. Hopefully it's something you know or have skills in already. I hope you're not chasing money. I hope you're not chasing ROI, rates of returns, because I think that's what a lot of people do. And then they wonder why they're burning out and they're not satisfied, not fulfilled when they do make the money. Now you gotta make more money to feel more fulfilled. Rather, if you would focus on what are your skills, gifts, and talents? What's your purpose? Find a business that complements your career, complements your skills that you already have, and find someone who's doing it at a high level and figure out how you can collaborate and partner with them. Don't chase money, chase value creation and think big in the process. How does more people win, not just you? Another example here, I gave you a real life example myself. Here's a here's another example of someone working in the food and beverage industry. Let's say you're nine to five working in the food and beverage industry, you're a waiter, 40 hours a week. So you make hourly plus tips. If I was in the food and beverage industry, the reason why I gave the example is because I was in the food and beverage industry before I started my YouTube channel, all right? And I have a couple years working as a bus boy, a driver, you know, waiting tables a little bit, taking orders, right? Working in a kitchen, doing that kind of stuff. Two books I would read. I would read Unreasonable Hospitality and I would read Why 10X is Better Than 2X. That would be the thing that I would immediately go and do right now. So I would read this book, Why 10X is Easier Than 2X, and then I would take the time to read Unreasonable Hospitality. And I'll put that on here as well. Read these two books. From doing this, you focus on customer service, and communicating with management about those things, your goals and intentions. Next, as you're doing this, because this is gonna help you perform at your job that much better. Like why go to a job and, and put in half-ass work, right? Why? Go all in at your job and stand out. Why not stand out? Do you? And by the way, wh whatever work input you're doing right now, at your job, let's say you're at 60%, you kind of, you know, you do things at 60%, let's just say, if all you did was increase that anywhere from 10 to 15%, you would get noticed. The reason for that is we live in a very unique time today. A lot of people don't want to work. A lot of people want more for less. You can easily stand out in today's marketplace because it's basically amateur hour. There's not a whole lot of people that want to put in the work and the time. They're too stressed. They're too concerned. They're too worried. They have so much fear, right? So if you went all in on your job, you know how fast you would stand out and how much faster you could potentially get a raise promotion and be put in a better situation within that company? Granted, I'm assuming another example here of being in a good, decent environment not toxic, where, where there's a growth path, right? So what I'm saying is strive to put in 100% when you go to work. Do that. Stand out, read these books, focus on customer service, communicate with management team. Then get involved in sales and marketing. Every business needs sales and marketing. That is a need because, because marketing produces a lead. A lead turns into a prospect. Prospect talks to the sales department. The sales produce sales. Revenue. Revenue is how you get paid as an employee. When there's more customers, you make more money. So if I'm a waiter and there's more people coming into the restaurant, there's more chances of me getting a tip. The better customer service I provide, the higher chances of me getting a higher tip. The more I communicate with management, I become favored with management. Favor is not fair. Understand that, okay? To be favored is not fair. To be favored gives you an unfair advantage. If the bosses like you, they take care of you. Management likes you and loves you, they take care of you. If the staff likes you, they take care of you, they get you gifts. The chef is your boy. The waiter at the counter, the, 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 the hostess, she takes care of you. Everybody takes care of you because you take care of them. Why not go all in at your nine to five? Why not? Think about that, putting less production there and you're actually more stressed. Then you're trying to build a business on the side it has nothing to do with your skills and talents because you're chasing money. Some guru online told you to go, go do crypto or go do this or go do an MLM or network marketing company or some kind of sales system, some kind of you know marketing system, some kind of digital marketing agency system, some kind of DMing system. Now that stresses you the hell out because you have no idea, e-commerce, all of it. You have no idea how that works. Now you're putting in money from this stressful job into this with no hopes, no guaranteed of a return. And you wonder why you're losing your marbles, right? So go all in, get involved in the sales and marketing 
of that business. Why can't you as an employee in a company also be an affiliate? Let's say the restaurant that you work at does parties, right? And if you know someone that's having a party or would like to have a birthday dinner or anniversary and you could get paid to bring that business in, then that's work you didn't have to do because the sales team will handle the, the coordination of it and then maybe you are the waiter on that party and then you help that person and chances are you get an even higher tip and even higher payout and it's the same work and that could boost your income. What if you presented to the bosses, hey, hey, um, I'm thinking about creating content for the business and as someone that's been working in this in this restaurant for a couple of years, I know all the ins and outs. I know all the foods. I know all of our ingredients. I know of all our of, of, of what we do. I know our core products, core values. I know where we're located. I know all the details. What if I became, what if I uh, you added me on your marketing team and a couple hours in my shift will be dedicated to creating content. And I'll also be willing to create content when I get off my normal eight hour shift or on my day off. I'd be willing to take a couple hours, create some content. You get me the mic. You get me the camera, you get me the materials. I will create the content that brings more traffic to the business. We can leverage, we can create a business social media page for the business, which you guys don't have, right? Let's just say restaurant doesn't even have a social media page, no Instagram, no YouTube, no nothing. Say, hey, I can help create content on the page and I can drive traffic from my own personal page to the business and any and then we can create like a landing page a funnel when we when we uh, attract those that want to do parties and we ask them how they heard about us and if they say the internet or if they say they saw me on the video explaining to them how their parties work and how they do things then i would get a percentage of the closed business the closed sales or maybe you pay me per lead. Guys, isn't that a more sure for sure way to increase your income by another 10 grand for the year, another 15, 25, $30,000 for the year? Sales and marketing, every business needs it. That's making yourself an invaluable asset to the company that you work at. And by the way, you're learning business skills that you can then transfer to your own business. Shoot, you might do so well and get in favor with the owner that the owner might offer you equity in the business they might say hey denzel i've been working at this location now for three four five years i'm considering opening up another location would you be willing to be an equity partner and, and establish that location you get a proceeds of all the profits you you understand how the whole model works and you know we have a system that works and it's just plug and play I'll, i provide the capital up front and you you do the work you run it could that dramatically increase your income like for sure path to growth instead of you trying to be a you know your own boss you can learn under a boss as a leader and be led by a leader not bad something to consider something cons to consider for sure so that's it my name is denzel rodriguez personal finance geek of the 21st century here's there these are my thoughts on how i would avoid burning out in 2024 for those specifically that have a main stream of income, which is career or job, and you're building a business or it's trying to start a business to make more money, right? And you're stressing out because of all the education and coaching and videos you're watching and studying and having to sell and market and get leads and create a funnel and do all this stuff when there just might be a more efficient way to do it. And you might discover more about how you operate. Maybe you're not the visionary. Maybe you're a, a number two, a number three, a number four, a number five guy or gal in a company. Like I know me personally, I'm a number two guy. I'm someone that partners up with someone. I'm someone that is a servant leader. I'm not the visionary person. I'm perfectly okay with that. God gave me gifts to be a servant leader in my skills, gifts, and talents that he gave me. And so therefore I find others that have the vision to take what I'm doing, multiply it. And then I can just be the one that does the work, right? Operates in it and leverages visionaries to take my work productions and efforts, multiply it at scale and make millions of dollars in, in the years to come. If you're young like me, oh my goodness, the time horizon is fantastic. Hey, if you're older, in your 40s and 50s, 60s. What more for sure way to generate more income than to double down on the skills, gifts, and talents you already have? Go find a leader that's doing amazing work that you can run with the next 10 years. Change your life, live your best life. God bless, we'll be talking soon.